So let's look at an example where we utilize the relationship between electrode potentials and E cell to perform a calculation. So here I've given you uh, the cell diagram of an electrochemical cell, and I've also told you what E naught cell is for this electrochemical cell, and I've also given you information about um, the reduction potential for one of the species that's involved in this electrochemical cell. Overall, what we're looking for is the E naught for this given half reaction. So I will warn you that these calculations look fairly uh, simple, but there's a lot of places where you can make mistakes. So you want to be very, very careful doing these calculations. The first thing that I want to do is take the uh, cell diagram and actually convert it into the redox reaction that's going on. So we've talked about that in a pre previous section. So this is the reaction that is going on in this electrochemical cell. Then the next thing that I want to do is to find the two ha half reactions that are going on in this redox reaction. So we've talked about that also in a previous section. The two half reactions are copper, copper going to copper 2 plus, plus two electrons, and zinc 2 plus gaining two electrons uh, to become zinc solid. So here, because this is an oxidation half reaction, we know that this is E naught anode. And because this is a reduction half, rea half reaction, we're gonna know that this is E naught cathode for our over overall electrochemical cell. The first thing that I wanna realize is that the information given to us in the original question, so this piece here, is a reduction half reaction. And that does not fit the reaction that we are utilizing here. We actually, we want the exact reverse of that. So this is one of the first pitfalls. A lot of the time, uh, information is given um, as reduction potentials. So it's very common to give any E naughts that are uh, used as a, a given. They typically give it as a reduction half potential. And it's up for you to understand that you need to reverse it. So the actual half reaction um, in our uh, overall redox reaction here is as an oxidation and we were given information as a reduction. So what we need to do is reverse the reaction. And what we do uh, to the E naught when we reverse the reaction is all we have to do is change the sign. So here's a reduction, it was 0.34 positive, and as an oxidation it becomes negative 0.34. And so this is the form that we want because this is the half reaction that's going on in our overall redox reaction in this electrochemical cell. So once again, this is E naught anode, so we have that, and really what we're looking for overall is the E naught of uh, the cathode in this cell. Next, we take the fact that E naught cell is equal to E naught cathode plus E naught anode. So we have, uh, we're given E naught of the anode and we're also given E naught for the cell and overall what we're looking for is E naught for the cathode for this electrochemical cell. So I take this expression, uh, solve it for E naught of cathode and I plug these numbers in. Uh, here, I want to be very, very careful that um, there's two negative signs, so that can be a little tricky. The E naught cell was given, E naught of anode was also given, but we had to manipulate it a little bit. And when I'm done, I get that the E naught of the cathode, which is that of the half reaction that we're interested in, is equal to negative 0.763 volts. One thing you want to remember is that a positive E naught means that the reaction is favorable and as that number becomes larger, the reaction becomes stronger or more favorable. So let's look at some half reactions and do some comparisons about uh, their favorability. And one thing you want to remember is when we talk about half reactions in a general form, they are always given as the reduction half reaction and it's up to you to know when to flip it around into an oxidation like we did in the previous example. So here's three half reactions and they're all reduction half reactions and the first thing I want to ask is of uh, copper 2 plus, nickel 2 plus, or magnesium 2 plus, which one is going to be the oxidizing agent? So of all these numbers, the only one that is a positive number is uh, the reduction half reaction for copper 2 plus. So this is the only half reaction of the three that's actually favorable. Because E naught is a positive number, that tells me of these three, copper uh, two plus is going to be the one that is going to grab on to the electrons uh, the strongest. 
So that means that copper 2 plus is going to be the best oxidizing agent or that it's going to be the most easily reduced and it's going to be the most attracting towards electrons. And of these three now, because negative is the opposite of that, it means um, that magnesium 2 plus, because it has the most negative e naught, is going to be the least electron attracting. So of these three, copper 2 plus is going to be the most electron uh, attracting because it has a positive e naught, and magnesium 2 plus is going to be the least electron attracting because it has the most negative e naught. So the other thing that we want to do is look at the other half of this. So what, what about copper solid, nickel solid, and magnesium solid? So these reactions in reverse are also viable. So of these three agents, copper, nickel, and magnesium, which one is going to give up electrons the strongest? And in this case, what we're doing is taking the e naughts, and because we're going to be looking at the reactions in reverse, we're going to be changing the sign. So magnesium, if we're talking about magnesium going to magnesium two plus and two electrons at the reverse of this reaction, the reverse is actually going to be positive 2.73 volts. So of these three, magnesium, nickel, and copper, magnesium is going to be the best reducing agent, it's going to be the most easily oxidized, and it's going to be the most electron donating. So of these three species, magnesium is going to be the one that gives up its electrons the most, because once we change these signs, the uh, uh, e naught for this half reaction of magnesium going to magnesium 2 plus plus 2 electrons is going to be positive 2.73. So because we're reversing the reaction, we change the sign. So of those three also, um, once we reverse the sign, uh, copper going to copper 2 plus and 2 electrons is now a negative. Once we reverse it, it becomes a negative sign. So uh, copper is going to be the least electron donating. So the last thing we're going to look at, and this is a classic re, uh, question that they give where they give you a list of half reactions. So I've only given you three, but on an exam you might see five or six or more. They give you these half reactions and then they say for a given um, electrochemical cell, what would be the high, um, largest positive e naught cell that you could get using these possible half reactions? And we've kind of set that up already. So because these are all reductions, at least one of these half reactions we're going to reverse because we need an oxidation. In a electrochemical cell, we need an oxidation and a reduction. And of these uh, reactions that are given, they're all given as reductions. So that's very common. You, uh, when you're given this list, they will always be in uh, reduction form. And it's up to you to know where to uh, flip it and turn it into an oxidation. So when we look at this, we want to look at the two possible half reactions, and we're going to say of, uh, of, these li of this list, which ones are going to give me the overall largest positive number. So we've already determined the best um, re reducing agent is copper 2 plus, so the best reduction half reaction is going to be the one for the copper, and then we've already determined that the uh, best oxidizing um, species is going to be magnesium solid. So we want to reverse this half reaction to turn it into an oxidation and in doing that that's going to change the sign. To simplify of the given half reactions for the reduction half reaction you want the most positive number of the half reactions given and then for the oxidation half reaction because we're reversing it and changing in the sign you want the most negative because eventually we're going to be reversing that. So we're going to keep copper as a reduction and um, this half reaction, we're going to reverse it and turn it into an oxidation. So when we look at that, the copper was given as a reduction. This is the e naught for it. And for the um, oxidation half reaction, we reverse uh, the half reaction with magnesium, making magnesium going to magnesium 2 plus plus 2 electrons. That changes the sign from negative to a positive. And when we add these two half reactions together, we get the largest possible e naught cell for those 